everybody. I'm doing a psychic session for a client. I'm going to read the goals here, get started. All right, I'm open to receiving whatever message Spirit has for me in regards to humans taking psychedelics, specifically DMT slash 5-MeO DMT. Okay, I'm going to relax. See what the message is for you on this. Hmm. And you're also telling me that you're just energetically, I'm looking at just the energy around your question. It's not necessarily with you in the center of the question, but it's all, it's almost like, um, the bigger picture as well. So I'm going to relax and get tuned in. Thank you so much for exploring this session with me and for sharing. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be curious about what comes through on this. Okay. Oh, huh. there, okay, just a second. I feel really dried up and dried out and I'm standing, standing in a strange forest and the trees are really tall people, okay? And they're kind of dry. They, they're treasure chests um, with secrets. And there's something about a gateway and unlocking or accessing the secrets of the old tree people. And there's a man and his face is made out of, I don't know if he represents a tree spirit. Um, he's kind of like a vine in a way, but he has facial hair. Um, it doesn't feel like hair. It feels like uh, fibers. <laughs> fibers growing on a vine. Just a second. There's a lot of energy around this, particularly around the head and throat region. <sighs> They're the loudest. Okay, let me relax here. Um, I'm seeing now an actual human heart and the chest is going up and down and the heart is beating. Okay, it's a little bit more disturbing. The next image is, okay, <laughs> it's like so energetically, there's a lot. So I'm just going to have to be like this for a little bit. There's a, a release of some kind. It feels like stress, like emotional release that is... Um, um, I feel like I've been lied to. I feel like I've been manipulated and I'm releasing my relationship with manipulation so that I can see the truth. And it's angry as well. It's like it even shakes because it's angry and there's just a lot. There's just so much buildup, um, particularly in the face and the throat. There's also a starvation to purify, 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 purify. Wanting to be truly in oneness with nature. Um, tuned in to the frequency of the plants, of the forest. <sighs> to be as truly natural as the plants themselves. <sighs> a lot of release has taken place here, so it's not so overwhelming in the face. Um, or throat, third eye, all that, crown, like, I feel like I can actually relax because there was a bit of a struggle. I don't know if it's an internal battle um, at just allowing yourself to awaken. Um, but now there's a breathability and the heart is relaxing and I start to see the heart um, beating just in a more calm, peaceful state. There's a real desire to see through the veil of illusion, th see through it, see past it, see the truth. So 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to alter the pattern a little bit here because there is a spiritual, a longing in the soul of yourself, but I feel it is a, con a collective consciousness, a longing within all of our souls um, to reconnect with magic, to reconnect with um, literally the magic of the forest, the magic of the forest spirits, nature spirits, the nature of ourself, um, our true um, kind of physiological dynamic on, an, on a natural and even magical level. Um, there's something so um, deranged about society um, and how um, the word rapes us, society rapes us of our natural origin. That's what's coming through. And so what I'm doing to alter the pattern here, because it's really um, associated with magic, and it has to be more practical, okay? There has to be some practicality to it. Otherwise, um, what use is the information for our world? There's something about, okay, I'm, I don't know how to explain it any more than this right now. I'm just going to alter the pattern, as in introduce the image to a different image that feels more practical. Um, and I want to see what we can discover through this, okay? Okay, this is creating stress in the third eye, the crown, the throat. My guides are saying, why are you doing this? And I'm saying that through all of my years of self-discovery, um, I have found that the mo most practical and the most grounded and the most truly in your body that you are, um, the more powerful you are here in this world. And our souls possess so many memories, so many places that we've been, so many different timelines, magical realms, um, practical realms, um, alien realms, advanced um, technology experiences, um, traveling the universe experiences, wormholes and interdimensional, etc. And then we come here and it's the day-to-day -day routine and a struggle with yourself and a struggle with the world and a finding your identity, finding your voice. And it's like every day is a hard day. Who doesn't want the magic of the ancient trees? It's what we're starving for. And then we're cutting down the forest. Let's just rid the world of all ancient, awesome spirits of the trees type energy. Like, let's just, just destroy everything. <laughs> but there's something, there's something here that I found that it's important to explore the energy of practicality and being your human self and finding that inside yourself without any anything else. You literally don't need to add any ingredients into yourself. You just need to learn how to tap into your soul because when you tap in your soul, like, like right now, I'm not on any psychedelics. I'm talking to the ancient trees. I'm talking to this tree spirit. Um, I'm connecting with your energy field. I'm connecting with the collective conscious. I'm sharing all of this information with you and it takes literally nothing. It just takes me. That's all it takes. And, and the willpower, the intention, the understanding of how to connect. Um, and so I don't need anything else. And I'm just as practical and as basic as everybody else. Um, and so, but at the same time, it's appropriate for my learning, for my lessons to um, be like this. For me to share this perspective of a message. Some people need the route of psychedelics in order to um, access their learning. So I can't be the one to tell you whether that's right or wrong or good or bad because it's neither right nor wrong nor good nor bad. It's, it's, it's appropriate for souls to discover themselves. If their heart is saying, I need to explore this, then, then that's what their heart is saying. You, you can't, you got to go into Pandora's box. And um, I found that my Pandora's box could be accessed um, just by being alone <laughs> and quiet. <laughs> that's all I needed. Sometimes we need to be surrounded by the memory of the magic it breathes life back into our hearts. And sometimes that's appropriate for people to have a rebirth of that connection. And, um, and so that, that's part of the message here is there's um, this psychedelic gives you access to the magic 
um, that that humans and souls even can starve for here in this dimensional plane of a reality. And that's like a, a resuscitation of the heart. That's a resuscitation of the ability to breathe again. But you're wanting to go beyond because you're wanting to bring back the information. You're wanting to bring back the wisdom. You're wanting to almost reset the planet. Um, to reharmonize the planet by accessing the old history, the accessing the old um, tree spirits. I'm going to stand here for a moment, okay? Um, I'm going through the gateway now, the gateway into the forest. So I can see through the gateway, I could see these trees, I could see this strange, like, vine man. It's interesting because the image is slightly changed because there never was a gateway before, it was just always accessible. And now I see the gateway and there's a, a wall. You had to go through the gateway to get inside to access this information. But now going through the gateway is yet another process because my heart starts to beat really hard and I start to get overwhelmed. And I start to wonder what is real anymore. I start to become in, almost in a circulation of war inside myself. A desperation to be set free. A desperation to get out. And I don't want to come back to this planet. And I don't want to deal with these people. And I don't want to deal with these stupid rules. And now it starts to become a form of escapism. So, there's a woman standing here and I ask her what she thinks of all this. And this woman is representative of you. Man, this is, oh man, oh weird. It was almost like somebody was poking on my third eye. I mean, I could feel like prints going onto it. It was so weird. It's the weirdest feeling ever. All right, it's still there. So I'm just gonna clear this. Okay. Um, she says that she's sort of uh, becoming very beautiful and full of different colors of light and sparkles. And she's rising above. We're not on the other side of the gateway at this time. We're just um, outside the gateway where the wall is. And then we can see to the other side of the wall, there's the forest. And this vine, this man that's made like a vine. And I see you rising up and up and up. And you're kind of like a, a fairy um, guardian of trees. And what you really need more than... The psychedelic is to remember who you are and to um, what is parallel or rebirth that that ancient role of your own where you were actually part of the magic of the forest. You were actually a keeper of the trees like you were part of the harmonious balance. You could hear the song of the forest kind of thing like you were part of that magic. Um, how do you um, rebirth that from inside yourself and then bring it up to the surface so you can stand in the shoes of what once was you is now again you? Because there hasn't been any gap in this role. There appears to be gaps of time and lives, experiences, when actually there's really nothing in between what you once were and what you are now. And you're really longing to resuscitate um, that part of your identity. Bring it back to this planet to remember who you are. And um, exploring psychedelics you feel is one way that could prompt this. But actually you don't need psychedelics. What you need is uh, the memory. You need access to the memories again. And this is another essential part of this message because I'm supposed to 
help you. I'm breaking down this wall with the gateway and I'm helping to reconnect your roots um, with the roots of the old trees. Somehow those roots had dried out so you couldn't breathe in their magic inside of yourself in this present. You needed the roots to be sort of reconnected and um, um, hydrated with water. And, and so I feel that this, this living forest of, of tree people, which is like really ancient tree spirits and trees. I mean, they look like giant trees, old trees, but they look like people. And then they also feel like ancient spirit wisdom, like earth wisdom, um, creative wisdom. And it feels magical. So I'm reconnecting you with this forest. And I'm reconnecting you at your feet. So your feet are always standing in connection with the, the ancient roots of your own soul, okay? Oh man, this is really good. It's very exhausting. It almost makes me feel kind of shivery and a little bit cold. <sighs> like, bleh. It's not a bad feeling. I just feel kind of shivery and cold about it. It's helping you feel rehydrated. It's helping you feel refreshed. It's, it's uh, actually like the splash of water and just the right moment, uh, the right amount, the right temperature. And it's just so great. It's just a little bit of an emotional release because there's an exhaustion to the separation and disconnect that you have felt. It has been, it's, it carries a sense of suffering. It does. And I, I tell you to be patient with it because this is going to help you feel home again, surrounded by home. Um, you really, your heart is wanting to feel home again inside vivid, clear as day, all, all around you. And to every step you take, it is like you are in the forest again. And you are. I feel your roots are rehydrating. I feel your connection. I feel it's really, really great. There's something about five very specific trees, okay? that are extremely close family members. And I see you as a fairy with five really close family members that are five old trees. <sighs> this is nurturing finally. I'm starting to feel it in your lower chakras. It's nurturing your heart. Um, but it's it's now starting to nurture your um, solar plexus, your sacral chakra is releasing some old, um, it's just energetic buildup from feeling a separation. <sighs> your root is um, rehydrating, feeling replenished. Mm. So that is. <laughs> That's what I have to share about your question. Hmm. I'm so glad you asked this question. It's a really good one. And I'm glad that more of a deeper understanding of your relationship to the inspiration of the question itself is helping you to access um, a mirror of your own essence, your own beautiful essence. And what could even be triggering or, or inspiring you to, to ask the question in the first place so you can regain access to that ancient, uh, ancient energy. Okay, thank you so much for this experience. I really appreciate um, the opportunity and uh, your willingness to share. For those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon. If you're interested in joining my Patreon community, you can do so at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. 
And then I have two other YouTube channels. If you're interested in checking them out, one of them is Abby Normal. I share weekly um, wisdom and healing there. And the other is Zodiac Energy Readings. So I've recently posted all the October Zodiac Energy Readings if you're interested in checking it out. So thank you all again for watching and I wish you all have a I wish you all a very beautiful day.